Hello and thank you for watching. This is Mark Tibor from the Pepperidge Farm Owners Association of America. This is a brief tutorial on how to post to the current news section of the website. If you are doing this, uh, you will be set up as an administrator. So once you log in, you will see here is our current news. You would click on add new post. What you're going to do though is you're going to log into a website called feedly.com and I can give you the uh, credentials to uh, log in. And once you log into Feedly, you'll see our feeds over here on the left hand side competition, uh, major news RSS feeds, which is mainly uh, coming from Reuters and Google uh, stores, which this is all set up of. Uh, I believe I put in 15 accounts. And as you can see, uh, Publix, Walmart. I believe I also did Wegmans, uh, Stop and Shop, uh, Kroger, Target, Meyer, and several others. The last one comes from Supermarket News, which is something that we subscribe to. So once we go through and we see an article. Most of the articles will come from either the stores or the supermarket news. So let's click on stores. We see here public anchored retail center trades near Orlando. Now this might be something that we want to post. We do not have to post everything that we see here. But if we just see an article that we think our readers are going to enjoy we can click on it. Now the article just pops up here, but to go ahead and share the article, we need to go to the website. So once we're brought to the website, very easy. We're just going to go up on top here, going to highlight the URL bar, right click, hit copy. Go back to the website, I'm going to put the URL by right clicking again and clicking on paste. Then we can go ahead and the only thing that is really required is the uh, title. So published anchor store. We don't have to bother with the second title. Uh, the date and time is actually when we posted. We don't have to do anything with that. Now, if there was anything else that we wanted to add to the article as a comment, we, this would be done right in this section here. As with the message board, we have full editor. So we can go ahead, change the size, the font, the uh, bold it, so on and so forth. Pretty much anything that you, you can do in Word we can do here. Then we would go down to the bottom here and just press save. I'm trying to see if we could get that to say publish, but I'm not sure if we can. Uh, that's something that our web designer is looking into. So if we go back to our current news, here is our article. And if somebody wanted to view the article, they would click on it and then if they wanted to comment they they could comment down here as well this is completely separate from the message board one other thing though is this is a two-step process one is first posting to the uh, POAA website but then the second thing is to post to uh, our Facebook feed so once you log into Facebook, and if you are in interested in doing this, I can set you up as an administrator to our Facebook page. We're just going to go down and we're going to look for the Facebook share. So just click on the Facebook, and then we get the dialog box. Now we don't want to post this to our own timeline. We want to post this to a page that we manage. 
So once I click on that, it says that I manage a Pepperidge Farm Owners Association of America. And then same thing, I can go in here and type something in. Or I can just leave it blank and click post to Facebook. And it's as easy as that. So hopefully this tutorial you'll find very beneficial. Once you start posting, this will become second nature. Uh, usually with my postings, I check usually before I go to work in, in the morning for some articles. And then um, later on in the late afternoon, I'll, I'll go back on. Uh, this is something that I'm trying to get to post some stories on a daily basis. Um, but then again, if there's really no news cycle, I'm not going to post just to post. But that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon.